is, I don't know if you've heard of the New York series or not. Um, it was making the rounds in the contact lens communities not that long ago, and a lot of people were very interested in them because, as you can see, they've got a really tiny people hole. So it's a lot of bright, vibrant color in a tiny, tiny people hole. Some people say it cuts off your vision. I find that ever since I had LASIK, Whenever I wear contact lenses, I see blurry anyway. It's like my eyes are instantly starved of oxygen, so I can only wear contacts for a very, very short time. So I wear them for videos, um, pictures, or if I go to the store. So I don't actually wear contact lenses more than two hours tops. Um, and I don't wear them every day. I wear them maybe once every couple of months at this point. But I do like to review them, and I do like to explore options and share what's good and what isn't good. There are a couple of companies that um, that have the New York line, but they are not the same. They're not actually made the same, even though they're called the same. They're called New York N, but from what I've seen from two other companies, they look vastly different between the two. This third company that I found out about, again, looks different. And this is probably one of the most disappointing hauls I've ever done, and I wanted to share it with you because um, now, I review cheap lenses. You know, the lenses that I review, uh, aside from lens.me, are very cheap. They're $15 or less. And they've been all great lenses. They've all looked great. They've all, for the most part, looked like the pictures, um, been comfortable, etc., etc. Haven't looked cheap. But these, these were $9. I have seven pairs to review because I. I've seen pictures of these colors and I wanted to try so many of them. And when I found them for such a good price, I was like, I want to review these. And so I decided to, but, um, yeah, these ones, you get what you pay for. And it's the first time since I've been reviewing contacts that I felt that way. Like these are a waste of money because I, these weren't sponsored. I wasn't asked to review these. I actually had bought these myself. And I haven't gotten around to doing a video for them, but since I just did the DTLI, I decided, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do this too at the same time and get it over with because these lenses have been sitting here. So I decided to do it. These are the only pair from my first try on because I've only tried one side on one time when I first got them. And then I was like, ew, and I haven't touched them since. But this is the only pair I really, really like. And these are called the, I have a whole list of them here. This is the New York Pro Angelus Green. And these are really vibrant. These are striking green, very unnatural looking, but I am partial to green now. Green eyes, green hair, whatever. And I, I actually really like these. The rest, they look cheap. The insides of a lot of them are just white. Like they took just a white lens and painted very crappily over the top of them. They don't look anything like the other lenses I've seen. And it's like, this is their own knockoff version, but they use the same name, like Solotica, how some companies will, um, you know, they'll use the Solotica name or the name of their lenses and it won't be anything the same. That That's, this, that's what this is a case of. And um, I don't know, let me just get to it. This isn't gonna take me very long because I really don't have much to say about them. I'm just going to show you the colors and see if my opinions changed from first try on to now. This is the New York blue <clears throat> and these are the ones that I saw online that made me really, really want to try the New York series because the blue was so vibrant and it was so bright and it was, it just stood out so well and it had like the detail was so amazing, but these. I mean, they're bright, but the detail's not there, like in the other one. So you can see, it's just, um, if you can see, I can't get close enough to you to show you. It just kind of looks like little scribbles. And these are the best out of all of them, as far as the design goes, I think. These are the green ones, but they don't look like they were drawn on with any care. I mean, they're bright, they're blue, they're, they're all right but they don't look like the ones that made me really, really want to try the series to start with. All right, 
this is a pair I didn't even know they had. These are called um, New York Purple, New York Pro Purple, because there's Pro, which is a little bit bigger in the pupil. The difference between regular and Pro, New York N and New York Pro are the Pro have a slightly bigger pupil hole, I guess, for those that complained that they couldn't see. These are a pinky purple color. I expected them to be more purple, not pink, so it's a bit disappointing, but I... I saw them and online they looked so pretty. I just had to try them, but they're not really me. And as you can see, the detail isn't really there. I don't know. I don't really like these too much. And these three were my tops out of the other, out of all seven. So the remaining four are just not good. These are brown. They're just called brown. New York brown. And they don't really look brown. They look kind of yellow. And they look very Halloween. Uh, and not in a good way. Not impressed with these at all. These are some of the ones that have a white background. Which is why it's so light in the middle. And you can even kind of see at, on the very edges of the lenses the white and I don't know if it's because it's just plain white on the inside if they've made it a different way but these are making my eyes burn and um, my eyes are wanting to water like these do not feel good at all they feel thick and heavy like really cheaply made costume lenses so I wonder if I can get these out of my eyes but this is brown These are hazel and hazel, but um, these look orange. They don't look hazel at all. Uh, the labeling and the color is really wrong, and my eye is like leaking my eye. This hurts really bad. These lenses are not good at all. Um, I suffer so you don't have to, but these are just god awful. The printing on them is so faint you can barely even see them. I put it on and I took it off because I thought it was inside out, but it wasn't. Look at that. You can't even hardly see the design on that one. And um, my eyes are about to start dripping, so I'm going to try on, hurry up and get through the next two lenses. These are gray. These are just gray. Eyes are fully leaking now. Um, these aren't really gray. These are more green, but I actually like this color. Um, this reminds me a little bit of one of the first ones I tried on, but better. I don't know. There's something about this color that's, that's like Halloween-y, but understated. I don't know. This is one of my, my favorites. Uh, you can see the, the design around it and it's subtle, but it's not subtle. It just hurts so much. I can imagine getting an eye infection from these or something. These are not good. You can see, like, my eye is just leaking. I have one more pair to show you. And that pair, I I was like, oh my god, I want to try those. Because I saw people doing reviews and they were like, this color is so amazing. It's my favorite out of all of them. And it was such a pretty color and it looks so natural. And if I recall correctly, it doesn't look natural and it's not pretty. But I will try on the last pair for you guys so you can see how horrible it is and say goodbye to one of my favorite ones, which I really liked. All right. Lastly, these are Go Gray, like Vincent Van Gogh, I guess. It's spelled the same. And they kind of look gray, but they look more white like a whitish gray and again no this eye is the one that's hurting i don't know if i just got a bad batch or something because i have a friend that actually bought most of these lenses separately like i didn't know she bought them until i told her i bought these we we're talking contact lenses she's like oh look look and she's sending me pictures and she had, she didn't seem to have any issue with them so i don't know if it's just me but these hurt they don't feel good and i don't like the colors i mean the colors for some of them are okay, but they don't feel good. Um, but 
these have got weird black flecks in them that just don't really fit with anything. I don't know what the point of that is. I do like that it's got a yellow ring. So it's like a gray color with a yellow inner ring and then these weird dark gray slash black flecks throughout them, but they don't add to it. They don't make it look more natural and they don't look very well done either. They're just weird. My opinion, unless I got replacement lenses, which I would not pay for, that uh, felt better than this. Um, from where I stand right now, my verdict would be stay away, don't waste your money, travel. one of the other companies I'll try to remind myself who they are and I'll add it in the description below or I'll add it here actually or here or after this so you guys can go to a company that has better ratings slightly more expensive but obviously much better quality because you can't get much worse than this um, and whose colors actually look a lot better than these knockoffs do. Um, these are $10, which aren't that cheap because the lenses I review are 10 to $15, but these just aren't, they're just not up to par with the rest that I've reviewed. So I don't know. I'm not happy. Would not recommend them. Would not recommend risking your eyes just in case you get a batch like I did. And yeah. So do you like any of these? And do you think any of them look okay? or natural or like anything you've seen online because to me they just don't